take a lot of stuff with you and bring it over to Crescent. Yo, excuse me, that was all you. What the fuck? Hey! What are you, like Falcon number two in that car or what? Every single day, I awaken here. It doesn't matter how far I travel every single day when I shut my eyes, this is where I wake up. This is purgatory. Please let me leave purgatory already. Welcome back to Jalopy, guys. I don't know what it is about it, but I love doing those little, like, soliloquies for, like, the start of our videos here, just because, I don't know, it's just so silly. That's what I imagine what this is all here. This is all about. This is purgatory, because every single day I wake up over here, it's like Groundhog's Day, you know, I'm over here just doing the same Bill Murray shit every single day over here. But, I had some, um, little experiences I wanted to share with you here, that I, I did off camera. So, off camera, I was doing some grinding on my own, just so I could come back and show you some new stuff here. And... I actually found something really, really neat on the road. I, I hope I, I'm really disappointed I didn't record that because I wasn't recording at the time. I was just making progress. But out in the boonies, I found a dilapidated car, just completely on the side of the road, just with like little bricks to keep it up because it had no wheels and everything. But it had some stuff still in the hood, and I popped that bad boy open. You know what I found? I found this: the Carbolide tube carburetor. Tube design delivers air and fuel into the engine to generate combustion, carbolite for quality conditioning, and it also had this, the HKS air filter, a small air filter used to remove particles from the air to fuel mixture HKS for ultimate go power. So this um, is going to be 15% reduction to the engine wear rate, which is neat. And then this is over here, um, I don't know, <laughs> something good I think. But check out durability for this is 4 of 4. This one's only 303 still, but this is 404, which is actually pretty cool. But yeah, I found this on the car, and I was like, yeah, fuck it. I grabbed it, I took my shit out, and I put that inside over here, and I kept on going on the road. It was fun. And while I was out there as well, I found a lot, a lot of boxes. And I thought I was going to be slick about it. I thought we'd come back here today. We'd pop these open at a store and get some money, because people owe me money in this game. But, lo and behold, when I checked it out today, I opened this hood up, and... Whatever was in those boxes that I found, because I saved to record here today, they apparently went bad. So I, I wasn't even worried this was a possibility in the game, but yeah, check it out. Trash. Literally fucking trash. So <laughs> if you have um, those boxes that you have to crack open with a crowbar, don't save them for a save file for next day because they will apparently just shit on you. Literally. Lies, shit, maybe, who knows? But yeah, I was disappointed. I had ideas, I had ambitions that we could sell some stuff that was in it, but no. Unfortunately for us, that's not to be the case here today, but whatever. We'll pick this up here right now. We will also take my quote unquote weapon repair kit, as we have come to dub it now all the time. You will come and hang out here. You will just post up here. I think everything should be fixed in my vehicle. You're two of three. You're two of three. I'm not too crazy about that. I should just fix you up before you leave. I should, huh? What do you think? Cousin, let's not go bowling today, huh? I'm gonna leave that guy behind again. <laughs> I enjoy being on the road without that guy. Like, I feel whenever he's out there with me, shit happens. So, like, when he's not around, it's kind of like, you know, he is not gonna jinx me. With his, like, little blank look of despair that he has on his face all the time. It bothers me, you know? So, he's staying behind again. I like being on the road by myself. I can just be alone with my, co with my own thoughts. This guy's always talking to me constantly anyway, so it doesn't really matter, okay? Actually, wait, wait. You're gonna be in the road, so move that to the side. Get on out of here. Alrighty, let's go. Hit the road. You know, I'm really happy, though, because, like, you know, we at the very least have some upgrades now. Mind you, I didn't buy them. I could have been able to buy upgrades for a long time now, especially had that woman not ripped me off of, like, $700 last time around. That was bullshit, let me tell you right now. I'm still salty about that a lot. Game fucking broke on me because of the quote-unquote weapon repair kit. I know why that happened, too. Like, you guys let me know in the comments, but it was because I'm a fool and I forgot that you've used the weapon repair kit without... Yeah, I know. I'm calling it a weapon repair, repair kit now just on purpose because that's what it's known as now. But, um, when you use it without paying for it, that's when it freezes up the entire game. Which is still kind of a piss-off to me, but whatever. Um, let's go over to... Rainy Route? Uh... I mean, this will kind of get us to Dresden faster, I guess. And I do want to go to Dresden so we can actually see about buying some upgrades, finally. And if we find a, a, a fuel store along the way, that would be pretty cool as well. That would be pretty cool as well. So, let, let's go. Let's get on out of here. 
By the way, the car should be running a lot smoother now because we do have, you know, these two upgrades. We have the air filter and the carburetor. So let's see if we see any really big differences in the performance now. Oh, and I figured out how to clean my windows finally. You know how I used to always do this? Apparently, I have to click here. See that right there? See, that's so annoying because I see this over here highlighted, but then you have to, like, literally move this shit over here. Which is kind of annoying when you're driving, because, like, when you're driving, you're trying to pay attention to the road here, especially with how terrible of a driver I am. As we all just saw right now, I almost slammed to the side of that little, um, I don't know, highway here, I guess. What'd you call this? The tunnel? I mean, technically, there's a tunnel! Stop! I'm not sure if the upgrades had anything to do with that. I'm gonna assume they probably did, but we'll see. Hey, can I... No! It's all fine. No cracks in the car. No cracks in the car. Turn, 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 turn. Oh, there's a car coming. No! No! That's fine. You think I ever pay penalties? I gotta pay shit for you. Get out of here. Keep driving. Well, you know, what is this? Hey, excuse me. Excuse me, there's something here in the road. Alright, hold up. Emergency lights. Don't you beep at me! Let me turn the car off for now so we... No, no, you get, get out of here. Get out. You get out of here. I think that by turning off the car, you probably lose um, less fuel, I'm going to say. What is this? Now, you know what's annoying, too? Not only did we lose the um, all that money that we made last time, I, in my in my state of anger, I also left a crowbar behind. So I, I need to find another crowbar again. So I, I'm upset about that, because not only did that woman essentially steal like $700 from me, but I also lost a crowbar at the same time, so now I can't crack those babies open until we find another crowbar. Which, I mean, obviously I plan to. I'm not going to buy it, I'm going to fucking steal it. <laughs> What's that you say, Falcon? Have you not learned your lesson about stealing? All the bad things- Oh! All the bad things that happen to you in this game when you're stealing, well, I'm aware, but I, I still don't care. <laughs> I'm gonna steal because the game has now forced me to live the life of crime. Plus, we're finding all these little boxes here, which is actually pretty cool. Is there more boxes down there? No. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you guys better stop. Oh, you know what, too? Um, while I was playing this off-camera, not only did we find that extra... You'll go there? Alright, cool. Not only did we find that vehicle that I told you with the extra parts that I stole. <laughs> steal. That's basically the name of this game now for me. Just steal everything. But... Yeah, keep going. Um, I'm not sure what this was about, but I was driving in the middle of the night. Oh, that was the pot thing. Yeah. I was driving in the middle of the night, and I was almost out of like, fuel. I couldn't like you know find a place to get some fuel, so I was about to like you know basically end my run. And I got to, like, this really, like, lonely highway where the strangest thing happened. Essentially, every car in the game was backed up from, like, say, here to God knows how far. Like, I had to get out of my vehicle, and I walked all the way through. Is that... Oh, no, I don't know. Ooh, hey, there's another item there. Jeez, we're getting lucky with all these items, huh? Hold up, hold up. Emergency lights. What the fuck? No! Don't penalize me! My shit's on emergency lights! If I had a crowbar, I would come out here and fucking attack your vehicle, you piece of shit! Oh, I get penalized even though my emergency lights are on! Hey! Stop slamming into the car, you jerk! Yeah, slam into your car with my body. See how you like it, huh? This piece of work over here. Yeah, all of you guys pile up. I don't care. But yeah, essentially, this is what happened. And the middle of the road that I found was, like, literally lined up from here the, all the way to Dresden, maybe. Just cars, like, you know, stuck with each other. It was so weird. I had no idea what to make of it. Again, I wasn't recording there, too, which is, you know, unfortunate. Two things that really that happened off camera that were really cool. That weird backup of cars and the car that I found with the um, items that I showed you in my hood now. Forget about the gas station. Well, the gas station is a really good place to actually steal items because you can actually take a lot of stuff with you and bring it over to Dresden. Yo, excuse me, that was all you. What the fuck? Hey! What are you, like, Falcon number two in that car or what? <laughs> what the hell is that all about? Like, this motherfucker's, like, literally cutting me off now. Look at this guy. He's got some sort of vendetta against me. Get out of here. Oh, come on! That's a love tap, if anything. That was just vengeance on my part, okay? For him trying to kill me. Oh, yeah, I owe him $10. Yeah, you could owe my dick $10 when he owes me. Goddamn game. It's fine, Jalopy. I see the game you're playing over here. I don't like it too much. I don't approve of it too much. Lights are coming on. It's raining. Let's turn on my... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's not how water works, but okay. 
<laughs> should probably bring this up too. Don't want to get myself too wet here. So, um, in terms of news for the game, though, I've been reading that they're focusing more on bugs first before they add any new content. And I'm kind of upset about that just because I could deal with the bugs at this point, like I understand what to expect. And honestly, the bugs is what kind of makes this game, like, I feel like this game should just remain broken. <laughs> you know, like, so much weird shit happens with this game that when it's broken, like, you know, it's when you have the most fun with it. But apparently they're focusing on bugs before they actually start focusing on fixing, uh, or adding more content. Which, you know, I really just want more content so I can actually have a reason to get beyond, or get to the border of Hungary at least. But at least for now, it is not going to be the case. They're going to focus more on bugs first, which I guess is fine, but at the same time, it's like, eh, you know. Just give me some more content, dog. I could deal with the bugs. It's fine. The bugs are kind of charming at this point. Um, okay, so. First things first, right? <laughs> first things first. Uh, I need to find a crowbar. That is going to be the first thing. And remember, Falcon, if you, you have to buy the repair kits. Just buy them. Avoid any more issues here. Crowbar. 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 Absolutely they have a crowbar. Very nice. Um, what's the order of operations here? Uh, okay, wait. 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 Okay, I have an idea. I dropped it because it'll come back over here. I still don't owe you anything, right? We're still fine. We're still simpatico, right? I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna grab my lock boxes. I'm gonna crack those babies open in front of that woman. We sell all that shit right there. We get our money. And then we steal. And we head to the, the hills. So, take this. Take that. Take that. These are mine now. I have one repair kit as well. Do you have any tires I can steal from you as well? <laughs> you do! Great! Very good to see. Are these better tires than mine? I wonder. Probably not, but we'll see. Alrighty, so, um, these are mine. I'm gonna dump them right here, okay, lady? Remember, these are mine. Do not clip through the world as well. Okay, they're not clipping through the world, which is fine. Um, crowbar, I will grab crowbar. Okay. And I will... Pop... That open. Ooh! Okay. Pop this open. Ooh! And pop... This open. I like how you can literally... These sausages? I like how you can literally use the crowbar without ever without having to pay for it. <laughs> uh, can you just imagine walking to like a Home Depot and just using their power tools? Like, you know, you just pick them up, you go outside and you start working on your vehicle or something. People come outside like, excuse me, so what are you doing? He's like, I'm working on my vehicle. You have to pay for that. It's like, no, no, I'm not taking it anywhere. I'm going to use it here, but I plan to return it. It's like, sir, I don't think it works that way. Like, it should. Hey, it works that way in Blompy, man. Alright, so we're not going to make too much money off of this, though. This is the only downside to this. Like, we're making some money, but really... Compared to all the booze that we sold last time to this woman, and we had like $700 in credit, that still hurts a lot. But, you know, what can you do? I wish I was in Nascamawina. What is this? This is a lock. I guess I'm wrong with the lock for some reason. Okay, cool. Um, so you owe me money. I'm going to come back with my wallet. You give me my money back. Again, my goal is to not break the game this time. Do not want to break El Gamo. So, um, how about we start off by using my own repair kit first. So, I'm over here. Stuff needs fixing, as expected. Four of four. Uh-huh. That's fixed. You're good. What about you? You need fixing. Okay, that's my repair kit right there. So, we're still cool with her. Now, open this up. My wallet. Let me get paid. We're at 323 right now. This should put me close to 400, I want to say. And then we steal. I thought you owe me like $70. Alright, whatever. I've had enough trying to figure out this game now. $380. Okay, that's cool. Um, wallet, you go back to the car now. Oh, no, no, we gotta buy this, we said. Like, we have to literally buy it or else it breaks, so... There you go. Um, yes, I owe you money. Let me just pay you now because I'm not gonna be privy to your bullshit anymore of breaking the game on me. <laughs> the, the gate tried to close on me. And the... Oh, I, I hope that... Oh, no, the door! The door of my vehicle's open! Don't cause any issues, okay? Let me get in here. Well, she should open the gate. Once I uh, pay, though, right? There's the motel down there, too. We can go there get some, get our save, finally. So I'm gonna pay for that. That's the only thing I'm paying for. Everything else we steal. 
Okay, here you go. Okay. This is mine now. Wallet, go back to the car. Gate is open. Let's make sure that we close this door so we don't have this issue anymore. Okay, that's cool. Now, um... You're fine. You apparently can use a fix. Fix. And... Boom. Okay. Everything seems to be in tip-top shape other than our wheels, more than likely. Two of three. It's still not too bad. Not too bad just yet. Let's also sell our wheels. Be some pretty decent money as well. We'll take some wheels, and then we'll be good to go. So, boom, boom. 40 more dollars to my name. And after we get paid right now, we take stuff and we leave. To the motel. And who is she going to tell anybody? She's not going to tell anybody about this. I will threaten her life. Oh, you should probably do that. I'll leave you open because we need you for the getaway right now. We'll put all the stash in the trunk and just flee. Alrighty. Give me my money. Give it to me. There you go. That's mine. We're up to $405. Great. Now we steal. I will take crowbar. I will take booze. I need to come back for booze. I will come back for booze. <laughs> yeah, you try to close that gate. Oh, it's not going to work, though. Not going to work. So, we put crowbar wherever, and then booze it up. Just booze it up now, booze it up now, booze it up now. How's her fuel? Hmm, should have probably checked the fuel. Well, maybe she's got like a fuel canister I could steal as well. No, doesn't seem like she does. Uh, 150? Uh, whatever. Take two of these as well. Take the other booze bottle. <laughs> Uh, I like how she just stands there the entire time while I'm just walking in and out, just grabbing stuff and collecting. This feels like, you know what this feels like? It feels like a giveaway, like, you know, like one of those shopping sprees where people just walk in and just grab shit. Like, you're trying to just grab stuff to, like, you know, win the shopping spree over here. That's what it feels like to me, because she just hangs out over there while I just grab stuff and walk in and out like I own the place. Like, where where in the world would this happen? Like, anywhere, really. Oh, yeah, don't mind me, I'm just over here stealing. What are you gonna do about it, huh? Nothing. Nothing at all. You could keep those hot dogs, right? They're, the value's too low on them. I'll take the pills... That's about it. You got, like, a really terrible selection of high-priced items, man. I'm kind of disappointed in you. I'll take this, though. Maybe. Probably don't even need it. And... Eh, yeah, sure. I got some coffee today. <laughs> Why not? Get some coffee for tonight. Alrighty, well, we're out of here. That was relatively good. And now we're out of here. Everything went swell. Turn on vehicle, U30 thief. Get break off. Leave area of breaking law. Go motel, go sleep. Stop reversing this way. And stop talking like a robot, too. There we go. Do, 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 do. Oh, that is where we could buy some upgrades, too. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to buy some upgrades tomorrow. I'm going to get some sleep finally. And we're going to finally save our progress here from Dresden. So, um, next episode, we buy upgrades finally because I have the money. I was installing. My game did not break. Everything is splendid for once. Oh, my God. I'm so happy. Hey, turn off. Bring Wally with me. Let's go. Let's go get some sleep here finally. Make sure I don't get stolen myself, so let me lock the car behind me. Alright, guys, we're gonna get some sleep here. We come back next episode, we buy some upgrades, and we steal some more in the road. Yeah, I'm staying, yeah, it's only me. It's only me, my uncle, he died. There you go, it's $20. Give me my key. Yeah. Give me the key. Stop talking to me. Alright, I don't have to talk to you anymore. You go back to my wallet, money. Alright, guys, I will catch you next time. That's my, my room? That's my room right here. It's my room. Lucy, I'm home!